In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a manual Rockwell tester, and then I'm going to talk about how it works and then some of the different Rockwell tests that are available. So let's dive right in into how to actually use it. We're set up for the C scale. So the first thing we do when you approach the machine, you want to make sure this handle is pulled back. So it could be in this down position, we're just going to pull it back toward us. Now make sure we have the right weights and the right indenter, and I'll talk more about how that works in a minute. I'm going to grab a calibration disc with a known hardness value. I'm going to clear off the table here, and I'm going to look for a spot on the calibration disc that hasn't already been tested. Then I'm going to turn this wheel to the left until my indenter touches the material. Now I've got to check this dial. So this small hand, we want to line up with this dot at the 12 o'clock position. So I'm going to spin this wheel to the left and we'll see both needles moving until we're about lined up with the little hand on the black dot. The larger hand, we can adjust the dial to it. So where it says set on the dial there, we want to line that up with our larger arrow. This gets the machine ready to do its test. Now, to actually perform the test, we're going to slowly press this lever. You're going to see the handle move back slowly. Now, that's an adjustable thing. That's the dwell time of how long it's staying on the material. We're going to wait for the needle to stop. So sometimes the needle can do wacky stuff. Just wait until it stops. And then this isn't your reading, right? Your reading is when you pull the handle back. Now we'll read where the, the larger hand is. So we're at a Rockwell 63. The calibration disc is a Rockwell 64. So we're really, really close. Now we typically don't record the first measurement, we record subsequent, subsequent measurements because when you change out the indenter, there could be a little uh, play in there. And after the first test, everything tends to get seeded. So that's all you have to do to do a Rockwell test. To do another test, you'll just lower this, move the test piece or put a new test piece in, and then repeat the process. So now, Let's talk about the different kinds of tests. So I just mentioned we did a Rockwell C. Rockwell C tests are for very hard materials like tool steels or hardened steels, things like tungsten, very, very hard. It gives you an accurate test. The indenter we use is called a diamond braille. So it's essentially a pointy shape that applies a lot of pressure to a very small area so that it can indent the material. What the machine does is measure the depth of penetration through mechanical means. So that's great for really hard materials, but if you use that same test on a soft material, it's gonna go so deep that the measurement becomes uh, inaccurate. There's a limited band of accurate measurements that each kind of test can take. So Rockwell C, diamond indenter, uses 150 kilograms of load. Now that's not how much the weights on the back weigh, that's uh, after it goes through its mechanical advantage, that's how much it's being applied to the tiny penetrator. So the weights on the back, we've got three of them. The top one is marked 50 kilograms. If we take that off, now we have 100 kilograms of force. The second weight is 40 kilograms. If we take that off, now we're left with 60. So we can do 60, 100, or 150. So I'm gonna take the 50 off, leaves us with 100. Now we can talk about the Rockwell B test. The Rockwell B test is going to use a different indenter. So it's got a 1 16th inch ball on the end. So let me go ahead and swap it out. There's a little set screw on the side of most of these machines. I'm just gonna loosen it, pull the Rockwell C indenter out, and now I'll just place the Rockwell B indenter in, okay? Now we're ready to do a test. Rockwell B is typically used for softer metals, so things like mild steel, cast iron, bronze, things that are, aren't as hard as uh, you know 
uh, hardened steel or tool steels. Now, the next wrinkle to this is if you notice on the dial, we've got black numbers and red numbers. So we're gonna read off of the red numbers for the Rockwell B test. It's printed on a tag on the machine. So different machines can operate different ways. So I recommend, you know, find either the tag or the user manual for your machine. Rockwell B test is gonna run just like the Rockwell C as far as operation. It's gonna be used again for the softer materials. Now, the Rockwell A test, we're gonna take another weight off so that we only have a 60 kilogram weight on the back. And then we're gonna switch over to the diamond braille indenter, the same one we use for the Rockwell C test. Now the Rockwell A test is used for uh, hard materials where you don't want to penetrate as far. There's less force being applied, so it's not gonna penetrate as far. This is typical for case hardened surfaces where you have a thin layer of really hard material and below it, soft material. So if you use a regular Rockwell C, you might punch below that hardened layer and be measuring underneath it. That wouldn't be the uh, hardness reading you want. Another thing Rockwell A does is that it spans most of the B and C scale. So if you really don't know what test to use, you can use Rockwell A. If you get a really high Rockwell A, you can test it with the Rockwell C to get a more accurate result. Get a really low Rockwell A scale, you can test it with the B to get a more accurate result for softer metals. The way the scales work, Rockwell C goes from 20 and up to about 80. Anything below a Rockwell C measured with the C, the, the setup for a C is unreliable. But where Rockwell C ends, uh, Rockwell B begins. So Rockwell B is about somewhere in the range of Rockwell uh, of tw C of 20. So if you get a really low Rockwell C, you should probably switch over to a Rockwell B to get a more accurate result. Same idea if you test with the Rockwell B and you're getting somewhere near 100, you probably wanna switch over to the Rockwell C scale to get a more accurate result. Now, if you're testing something way outside of the scale, so you're using a Rockwell B for hardened tool steel, you're gonna get a wild answer, right? It's not even gonna be close. So you wanna have an idea of what the material is. Rockwell A can help with this. Like I mentioned, it spans both scales or you might wanna use a different hardness test, right? So that's it for this video. Quick discussion, how to use the machine and then the different scales available. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below.